So a great tool you can use to help measure your home's solar potential is called PV Watts. PV Watts is sponsored by NREL for the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, and to access this tool, you'll go to pvwatts.nrel.gov. So once there, you'll type in your address and get started. I'll use Soul United Neighbors address here in DC. So once you hit go, it'll find a local weather station to help assess some of the uh, conditions that it'll use to measure your home solar potential. So I usually just leave this as the default. So then hit go to system information. So if you have an estimate of the size system you want on your roof, you can go ahead and put that in at the top here under DC system size. Moving down, you can also type in the type of module, um, standard, premium, or thin film. Likely you'll use standard or premium, depending on your, your specific panels you're interested in. Array is usually, if it's on your rooftop, it'll be a fixed uh, open rack, or rather a, a fixed uh, roof mount. So from there, um, usually you can leave the system losses, tilt, and azimuth as the, um, as the default settings here. If you don't know your system size, so if this four is not accurate, you can actually draw the system um, on your roof. So if you click this tool, it'll pull up a separate section and allow you to draw the system. And it's actually gonna show you a little bit of how to do that here. So hit close, and I'll locate my um, our office, which is actually this building here. So let's say I will measure uh, this box here, and this is where I want the solar system to go. I'll hit save, and it's actually gonna populate with a 10.2 kilowatt DC solar system. So from there, I can also put in um, additional parameters if I'm interested, or uh, additional economics uh, criteria as well. So you can look for residential or commercial, depending on um, what applies to you, as well as your average cost of electricity. So actually in DC, it's a little closer to 13 or 14. So I'll go ahead and put in 13 cents. So then you go to PV Watts results. From here, it'll tell you exactly how many, uh, or an estimate of how many kilowatt hours per year you'll produce, and actually break that down into each month's category with um, the average solar radiation, AC energy, and then the energy value in terms of dollars. Moving further down, it has a little bit more information about your specific site information and some of the, um, some of the factors that it used to calculate that average. Um, so using this information, you can get a general sense of how large a system you may need, as well as how many kilowatt hours per year your system's gonna produce to help you um, figure out exactly the size you may want and how much that's gonna offset your bill.